there is one uh, one request from the chat uh, at ask ask .audio. Uh, it it uh, covers there is a guy called Disprot. He would like you to cover uh, very chaining brief, patterns. Very briefly the, the pattern chaining function. So uh -huh. if you could show him how of how, course. how, how um, does it work. I got those funny patterns. Hello Ask Audio. So I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna chain those three patterns. So I'm working on pattern uh, four on track number one and on the last step on the first track I'm gonna link this pattern to pattern number six on the first track so I'm holding the, the last step on the first track and I'm clicking note encoder and going to link to and while I'm scrolling it it the blinking light indicates um, the link to, to which uh, pattern I'm gonna be linking the one I'm working on. So I am currently on pattern uh, four on track one, and I'm gonna chain it to a pattern six on track one. That's done, and it's gonna look like that. You can see it's blinking, and then it's just linked the previous pattern to this one. And now on pattern number six, I'm gonna do the same thing. Maybe on another step, why not? Maybe I'm not right now, I'm just gonna use a uh, track number eight on this particular step. And same thing, just um, clicking the note knob and going to the pattern one, five, for example. And there we go. So now I'm gonna start from Pattern number four, it's gonna say hello. Ask audio. Right now I can also add another link on this particular pattern and I'm gonna loop them like that. Um, so um, I hope uh, this prod that I explained that to you good enough? There are two questions. Uh, do you have to scroll rather than pressing the buttons? We are working on it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's that's not that's a good question. We've been talking about that today. It, it's um, not the most convenient way to, uh, to scroll to indicate the link, so we'll maybe uh, do it as you mentioned, just click it and there we go. And the second question, can you only change two patterns on the same tracks? No, uh, no of course not, not at all. You have 256 slots where you can use the link uh, to, to another pattern. Yeah, I just used those ones because I had those, you know. Uh, I'm using uh, Isaac right now as a display board. Um, so that's why I linked those three together. All right, that's enough of that. Um, um, yeah, like uh, Piotr just said, we are still developing the operating system. Uh, like some of the functions you can see right now, for example, the chord first step and also um, musical scales are probably not available in the sec units that we already have. Um, give us like, I don't want to say, two or three weeks, I think the new operating system is going to be ready and we're going to let you know it's going to be on our website, you're just gonna have to download it and upgrade your firmware, which is gonna take you a second or two, and you're gonna be able to use it. Um, there are gonna be a few more options, a uh, few more improvements. Um, Let's talk about new things, yeah, what yeah, we are working on right now. As you can see, uh, SEC is already polyrhythmic because you can change like in a fly length or, of, of each or step. Should you say polymetric? Um, polymetric. 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 So now it's polymetric, yeah. but it's gonna be polyrhythmic too soon because we are also adding different tempos per track. So you can, uh, you're gonna be able to divide the tempo or uh, multiply it. So then it's just gonna get even more powerful than it is right now. Um, from like making it more convenient to use, we are also planning to give you 
the ability to adjust the brightness of the buttons because some of the users uh, complained about like when when you uh, setting the, the length of the um, tracks it can get really bright so for people who who work at night for example uh, that might just improve their workflow uh, what else are we we adding right now there is a question about polyrhythmic versus polymetric and this is something we are we, we were uh, looking for from the very beginning so we scrolled through thousands of Facebook or uh, uh, YouTube pages showing what is what and it seems like it's uh, different people call it, call it differently so what, what we've learned is that polymetric uh, is when you have the same metro, the same tempo and different lengths each of those start at the same time and end in the different, in the different time uh, but each one of the track has the, exactly the same tempo uh, polyrhythmic, on the other hand, uh, starts at the same time again, but uh, it doesn't matter when it starts. The difference is that it has diff each track can have different uh, tempo or metrum. Uh, so in polyrhythmic, we'll have, for example, one uh, one track playing 120 BPMs, another playing 90, another playing uh, 240. And so on and so forth. I hope this this answers the question. Our admin. Um, there is one more question from this pro. Oh, the the question the question is about sending the short tricks and uh, sometimes we discover that when you uh, configure it configure sec that way it sends. Uh, um, messages to Polly, for example, and then Polly sends the gate to Sampler or any other Eurorack. Uh, it means that um, sometimes the gate that we are sending were not too short. We've changed it to a minimal, to a viable minimum uh, on the newest firmware. So I think you are you are also covered here. Right, All right. Um, maybe let's start making a pattern from uh, scratch. I'm just gonna jump to a empty pattern. Maybe this one, for example. Just gonna stop it for a second and. Um,